everyone and welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in i am back again with another general reading um i hope everyone is well and safe um this is a general reading once again all signs take it as it resonates air earth water fire leave was not for you we ask the Holy Spirit to guide me in this reading and keep me protected and don't let any negativity or entity enter the message that needs to be received and let me give the clarity that's needed, okay, for whoever needs it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now I was shuffling before, right, and that card jumped out. And this card says, your dreams need a practical plan. Okay? So, whoever you are, whatever it is you been desiring, something you want to bring into frustration, you need to make a plan. Okay? It's not that it won't work. You just need to sit down and come up with the proper game plan. Alright. What else do we need? What else is No. Okay. It is the message. Look at the bigger picture. Okay. So you got a plan. Your dreams have a practical, need a practical plan. Look at the bigger picture. So, like I said, whatever this dream is, look at the bigger picture. Okay. Really look at it. Really see it. Okay. Visualize whatever this is. See piece by piece how you can bring this together and make it reality is what the divine is telling somebody because somebody is at a place of feeling like maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't. Somebody's doubting. You want to do it, but you're in a place of doubt. And the divine is here to tell you that it's not a bad what you want. Right. Like I said, you're in a place of doubt. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. And the universe is telling you it's time to release negativity. Right. That's why you can't come up with the plan you need because you have the idea. You got the dreams, but it's hard for you to see the vision. Okay. So spirit is telling you the only thing standing in your way of whatever this is. It's you. <laughs> That's the negativity. Yourself. You're doubting what you want to bring to life. And that's everything that's keeping you stuck. Okay? Most times it's not a person, place, or thing that's keeping us held up and held back. And most of the times it's us. You know, it's our perception of the way we're seeing something turning out. You know, already before, sometimes before we step into certain things, we already see how we feel it's going to play out. And that's every time. That's every reason why it doesn't work out. Okay. You have to have faith. You understand? Faith works. It's important and it's necessary. And faith is simply believing. Okay. It's having a strong belief. Having faith, I'm hearing this. <sighs> Having faith is like a baby when it learns how to walk. Okay, that baby starts out crawling. And not until that baby is told, come on, you can walk. And you stand that baby up next to the wall or a chair. And you say, come on, come on, come on. Come. Pay attention to the baby. The baby's not looking at his feet. Okay, the baby's looking at you. <laughs> you understand? 
It's just like when Jesus was on the water, right? And he told him to have faith. You can walk on this water too. That's the same thing with a baby. Okay? He was focusing on Jesus, but when he realized what he was doing, that's the only time he fell. You pay attention. A child does the same thing when a child learns how to walk. The child ain't looking at his feet. He's looking at his mother. He's looking at somebody that loves him saying, come on, come on. That's where the faith is at. It's in the love. Okay. Oh, I could do that. I can go to mommy. I can go to daddy. I can go to, I can do it. That's the love. Okay. That's faith. And as soon as that baby looked down and said, oh shit, I'm walking. He, he hit the damn floor. <laughs> it, it's the same thing. That's how that shit works. Okay. Yeah. Stop investing in fucking each other up and invest in yourself. You don't understand. People don't understand the power that each and every one of us, we are so powerful. Okay? Psychics are not the only powerful people. Preachers are not the only powerful people. Everybody walking on this damn planet is a powerful being. Do you understand? That's why you here. God says, are you here? Then you're worth it. I had to learn that. You know, there's going to be people to tell you, you ain't shit. Been there, done that. I done heard it so much, I don't even care anymore. Because though they told me I wasn't shit, hey, after I surrendered to the divine, right? And I found my healing. I don't care who tell me I ain't shit. You can't get me to believe it. I promise you that. <laughs> okay? Because I learned another truth. Okay, see the world told me some shit for a certain amount of years in my life and then God told me some other shit. Spirit taught me other things. I found healing. A lot of people think this part is boring. It's like, no, this is where you find life. This is where you find that peace you're looking for. <sighs> All right, Spirit, back to the reading. So whoever you are, stop doubting yourself. Whatever it is you want to do, go for it. If there's people in your ear telling you that you can't do it, you ain't going to never be shit, you ain't got what it takes, do it anyway. I'm telling you, I did it. I had people tell me I wasn't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't nobody. You don't know nobody. I know God. I, I'm, I'm tight with the divine, though. Okay? I can bet you that I'm okay from the inside out. Okay? I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for this part. Right. Once you relieve that negative, release that negative energy, your energy will gain momentum. Okay. But you got to release all that shit. All the naysayers, everything you doubt, and you got to let that shit clear your mind, clear your space. You got to meditate. If you got to sage, whatever it is, if you have to take salt baths, spiritually cleanse yourself. People don't understand that's important to do. That's the easy way to connect. Meditation. Okay. There's power. People don't understand that. You want to you wanna spiritual cleanse yourself. You get you some salt. I like to use sea salt. Right. And. You don't put bubbles and stuff in it. It's a spiritual cleansing bath, okay? And this is how I do it. If you have, like, healing oil of some, you know, whatever healing oil, whatever you have, you put a few drops of salt in your bath water, and you put, like, three 
one, two, three of the healing oil, right? And if you can get your hands on some healing candles, you take that salt bath, okay? And you either have the healing candles or healing sage. You burn sage, right? And while you're in that bath, doing that spiritual bath, you meditate on cleansing letting all releasing yourself of all negativity okay you picture it coming all together and then you release it okay and you actually do that you know you gather like you gather and think about it in your mind visualize it. all the bad stuff all the sad stuff you know, all the things that went wrong, everything you hate, everything you don't like, and just pile it. Like you sweeping trash in a pile, that's what you do. Okay, but this is in meditation. And then you say, I release everything that doesn't serve me. I release it. Okay, and as you wash yourself in that water, and that, that salt bath, and that oil... And you let your sage burn or your healing candles burn. Okay, when you get out of that tub, understand you're going to feel this peaceful feeling. It's going to feel like you've actually been cleansed. That is a spiritual cleansing, okay? You don't have to pay nobody a hundred, five hundred. Listen, listen, you don't have to do all of that. Okay, I'm a healer. I'll tell you what to do. You don't need all that. You don't have to pay somebody all your money to heal. Okay? That's why people like me are here. Okay? We're the real deal. Alright? So let's get back to this reading. anything else <laughs> oh, spirit is funny spirit is like look all you need is four cards all right spirit is straight to the point whoever you are the message for you is your dreams need a practical plan okay everything you want everything you're hoping for all you have to do is put it in frustration make it happen and Spirit is telling you that the only thing that's holding you back is your own self-doubt. Release the negativity. Do the salt baths, the spiritual cleaning baths like I told you. And you will gain, your energy will start gaining momentum and you'll grow, okay? And this is going to be a positive energy. You understand? So for whoever you are, Stop being a doubting Thomas. Believe in yourself. Okay? Love yourself to your greatness. And that is the message, all right? So I hope that helped. That was a... That, look, Spirit's like, look, I'm not going to waste my time here. Four cards. That's all we're going to need. Okay. Get it? Got it? All right. Now go. <laughs> okay? So I hope that helped. And I do appreciate everybody that tuned in. Okay, and listen to the entire message. <laughs> thank you. Um, I thank you who just tuned in for a few seconds just to hear me. Um, I send you all nothing but loving energies, positive vibes. And until next time, stay blessed and have a blessed evening. Later. <laughs>